Hi folks, it's Farmer Tom here. Hope you are very well. Uh, we've had four seasons in one day already today. Bit of snow, a uh, bit of cold wind, uh, and now it's warm and sunny. Amazing. Welcome to England. Um, but I thought after posting yesterday about some of the difficulties and the real challenges that we're going to face nationally and internationally with the price of fertiliser leaping uh, in the last few months uh, to be about five times what it was just two years ago, um, I thought I'd share with you some of the potentially the positives and they are medium to long term positives. They don't help us in the short term, but in the medium to long term, they'll help us reduce our reliance on artificial fertiliser. And, and one of the things we're doing in this field is this is a crop of wheat that was sown last October is actually we're we're planting underneath. And I'll just show you using the magic of technology, this wonderful clover that's growing underneath underneath this wheat. And actually we grew this, this clover has been growing here for the last four years. We grew some spring barley for two years ago. We grew some rapeseed last year. And on all those crops, we got to use a little bit less artificial fertilizer than we normally would. And we used the fact that biology already provides that. So um, the clover, uh, the root nodules in the clover take nitrogen from the air around it and make it into a form uh, that the plants can use. And actually, particularly when those clover plants are stressed. So when we use a little bit of glyphosate before we drilled the wheat, um, and uh, obviously a little bit of senescence over the winter just releases a bit of that nitrogen for the plants around it uh, to use and in this case this crop of wheat is not, not looking too bad I think there's a lot of crops of good looking crops of wheat around this year um, and this one hopefully should yield well um, but again all from the benefits I think not only of, um, uh, of the clover but also kind of a, a really healthy soil ecosystem so that is uh, us helping nature to help us um, and certainly I think this will, this will happen more. We've planted another 100 acres of this um, under sown underneath our spring barley this, this uh, spring. So hopefully that will, that will really reduce our, our, our artificial fertiliser bill um, and usage even further and, and further increase our soil health. Anyway, wherever you are, I just thought I'd share that. Um, uh, I hope it's interesting and useful. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.